where you gotta go get it. So. Which team seemed most interested in your MRI? Um, they're just the team doctors. <laughs> I don't think they, yeah. How would you describe your, your progress then, rehab wise and all that? It's good so far. I feel like I've been able to recover pretty fast. Um, as far as where I'm at, I'm able to, like I can run a 40, I can, you know, do a shuttle. I'm training for that now. Um, but I'm gonna end up uh, waiting to run those at uh, Pro Day. But I, I wanted to show my progress, so I'm gonna do position drills here and bench uh, just to show um, where I'm at. When so you'll be ready to go for OTA sometimes? Like that. Yeah, should be, yeah. When do you expect to be like 100% not even worrying about it? I would say by Pro Day, hopefully. That's about another month out, so. Have you, have you, you showed the Cowboys this week? Yeah. Was that formal? Yeah, it was formal. How would that meeting go, and what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, it was a really good meeting. Um, liked all the coaches, and you know, I, I had a good time in that meeting. Is, is the injury uh, hurting your draft stock? Do you feel a little? Bit? I don't think so. Um, just from the injury standpoint, uh, I was lucky that I just broke the bone. I didn't uh, do any ligament damage. Um, if I did do ligament damage, maybe that would hurt it. Um, but they just, the doctors just told me that. Bones heal, and I'll be all right. What well, kind of became a folk hero in Pittsburgh by the way you got off the field to save your team time? Um, and that was this injury, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, what, what have you heard about that play? I mean, what are you hearing? Um, a lot of the teams were impressed with it. Um, you know, I just, in the moment, I was just trying to do whatever I could to help the team out. Um, you know, like a lot of people, tell me that you know I won the game I don't really feel that way because you know we uh, our center came in had perfect snaps made perfect calls you know I feel like I maybe gave him a chance to win but you know those guys that came in and executed on the last four plays they, they did a great job did you know in that moment that you broke your leg when you went down I didn't know what I did I knew something wasn't right so I knew I was in a lot of pain and I knew it wasn't just a sprained ankle. But you knew in that moment you had to get off the field for the ten, to avoid the 10 second runoff. Yeah. Like that was your main. Yeah. Now you grew up in Fairmont? Yes, sir. So were you a Steelers fan? I was a Dolphins fan. Oh. Uh, sorry. Yeah. My, my dad's from Florida. Um, came to Fairmont State to play center there. And that's how he met my mom. Uh, but he named me after uh, Zach Thomas, <coughs> linebacker there. So that's why I've so always worn 54. So. so you're more of a Dwight Stevenson guy than Mike Webster. Yeah, no, Mike Webster, yeah, okay. yes. Yeah. So this is the second year that Fairmont's had a guy in the NFL draft. What's, what's special about Fairmont? Um, what does it mean? What does that What is your hometown? Yeah, mean? I mean, that means a lot, especially to have a guy like Dante. We went to the same high school, obviously. Um, you know, that's pretty special to come from the same high school, go to the same college, and then to be here, it's really special. It means a lot, especially, you know, to our city and, you know, where we come, came from. So what advice did he? you describe your style as a center? Um, physical, yep. My, uh, you know, his goal is to put people on the ground. Um, and then also pretty level-headed. I have to make all the calls and um, study throughout the week. A lot, of, a lot of centers classify themselves as smart guys, which I think is a good one. Yeah. It separates being a smart center, being a, a knowledgeable center from maybe the rest. Yeah, so for me, it's, it's, you have to make all the calls for the whole line and you have to communicate that from tackle to tackle, even tight ends. Um, so for me, it's just the preparation throughout the week, um, studying your opponent, uh, trying to find little tells that, you know, they might be giving away blitz, uh, stuff like that, looking at feet, um, just really trying to gain an edge from that perspective. What's something you need, you want to work on? People um, talk about your intelligence and your athleticism, but what would be something that you feel could hold you back or you need to improve upon? Um, I'm pretty hard on myself. Um, I feel, I don't I don't feel like I do anything perfect. I feel like I could always be better, whether it's you know my hands, uh, pad level, footwork. Like I'm I, I'm not perfect. I I could improve in every area. I talked to what? Beanie Bishop at the Shrine Bowl, and he kind of just talked about how different it is playing with West Virginia and with those fans. So what's what just what's your experience been like at the school and with that fan base? Yeah, you know, Beanie. Uh, I feel like Beanie and uh, Doug Nestor should be here. Um, that's just you know, my opinion. I feel like he had a great season, Doug too. And, and I feel like they should both be here, but um, as far as the fans, it just means so much. Um, coming, cause I was a, grew up in West Virginia first. So growing up there as a fan first, 
you just know how much WV means to the people that live there. Um, and to be able to play for them, you see it. You see it in the stands. You see it in the fans. It's a special feeling. How aware, how aware are you of the Steelers tradition at center? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty aware. And um, you're aware it's wide open right now? Yeah. And um, everyone's looking for the next guy? Yeah. Yeah, uh, they've had it. Like you said, Mike Webster and obviously uh, Marquise Pouncey. Damani um, Dawson's in there. Yeah. Jeff Harding. Definitely. Um, so, yeah, I know they have a long tradition of having really solid centers. How did having a dad from a football family and a mom from a wrestling family shape you as the athlete that you are today? Yeah, I feel like it was a perfect combination. Um, you know, my dad was my football influence. Um, so, you know, from a young age, he was my coach, taught me technique. Um, really just worked through me and developed me and also grew like my love for football um, at a young age. And then my mom uh, came from a wrestling family. Uh, all three of her younger brothers were state champions and her dad was too. So really she taught me how to prepare for wrestling matches, football games, just from a, a mental standpoint and then also like a physical standpoint, like what to eat, drink, stuff like that. I hope uh, she is a fan. What's that? I hope she is a fan. I've seen some mothers. Yeah, she she was screaming in the stands. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I could hear her. Yeah. Zach, would you say you're more confident as a pass blocker or a run blocker? Um, run block is definitely my favorite. I like when we can, you know, tee off some, on some people and, uh, you know, p pass blocking is fun too. But for me, I'd rather I'd run the ball all day. Have you met with the Eagles at all? Um, I've not. You hand slapped the Bears. Yes. If they took you with uh, a rookie quarterback, do you feel like you could get your protection calls down by September? Absolutely. Um, I feel like I uh, work very hard, and that's something that I'll study as soon as I can. And um, I feel like I'm a good student of the game, and I'll work with you know the coach to get everything down by then. How do you think the quarterback setup you've had over the years at WVU, going from a JT Daniels, Garrett Green, Jared Daggy, different types of quarterbacks? Yeah has prepared you for this point that you have dealt with almost every different style of quarterback that an NFL team could have. Yeah, um, and you know, all those guys are some of my best friends. Um, just, I feel like that uh, center quarterback relationship is strong. Um, but yeah, we've had pocket passers and then Garrett that'll take off and run. Uh, it's really cool to play for, you know, um, different types of quarterbacks, like you said, and you know, Garrett, Garrett was nice because if uh, anyone on the line got beat and he saw it, he'd just take off. So um, really nice from a O-line standpoint. We like that he, you know, didn't take sacks. Growing up wrestling. as a Dolphins fan, did you say that you maybe watched, like, since, you know, you have the family from Pittsburgh, like growing up and watching maybe the Pouncey Twins, whether it be Mike or Marquise, and have you spoken to the Steelers formally here at the combine? Um, I've not spoken to them formally. Um, but, yeah, I grew up. I, I still watch the Steelers. Um, I'm, I'm just a fan of football, you know. So growing up, watched a lot of the Dolphins, and then, um, you know, like once I got to college, it was I didn't I uh, didn't follow them as closely because I was obviously you know more focused on you know playing the season. Um, but yeah, I grew up watching both those guys. How much is wrestling played in, and and what feedback do you get from these NFL coaches regarding your wrestling? Um, it's something that I think I've talked about with every team that I've met with. Um, so I think they take it uh, as a positive that I wrestled and, you know, something that they can see in my game. How well would you have done in Pennsylvania for state title still? Um, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna bet on me. So yeah, I think so. Great. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Zach.